Welcome to IEPUI's Learning Theater, Classroom 102 in the new Innovation Hall. This is a classroom that was designed as a classroom in the round um, to give it a more intimate feel while still housing almost 125 students in the classroom. Um, because of the oval shape, uh, we're able to promote collaboration, but also allow an instructor to teach typical lecture style. Um, the seats, um, we have two tiers, if you'll notice, um, and then each tier has two rows of seats, and the front row of each of those tiers actually turn around so that we can have active learning sessions. The furniture in the room was a big deciding factor um, in the functionality. So one of the features we had talked about was being able to talk to the entire class even though um, students would be at your back. And we wanted to draw the instructors away from the center of the room and promote uh, walking around a little bit. So the oval shape of the lectern plus some flexibility on the equipment that we have um, help the instructor do that. So if you notice, um, we have a swing arm and then also the side arm for the laptop would be easier to use. And that way now I can change my focus to the other side of the classroom. So one of the great features of a DirectView LED wall is service. Uh, we went with a local company here in Indiana, uh, Naoti. Uh, they came in and put in this custom curved wall for us. Uh, actually, each wall has a different curve, so they technically did two custom curved walls for us. Um, serviceability has been amazing though. If, we're, if a pixel ever does go out, um, they gave us a handy tool uh, with some 3M ad adhesive on it. Um, it's not like the typical ones uh, that you might see that have a magnet that, to thin these out and make them lighter. Uh, they've gotten rid of most of the metal that was inside. Um, so they're not magnet anymore, it's just a 3M adhesive. So what you do is place it, five, four, three, two, one, and then pull, the panel comes out. The wall is still functioning. Um, you'll notice that just that square panel is out. Uh, peel it away, and it's a simple panel. Then once you uh, get a replacement, it simply just snaps back in. So we take it, put it in, video comes right back. Serviceability has been amazing so far on it. Well, welcome to Innovation Hall room 105. Uh, this is a traditional lecture style classroom. Um, what you'll see above me is three displays. Uh, because of the viewing angle, the students um, split left and right. We wanted to make sure that we could have two pieces of content, but that each side of the room would be able to see the same. Um, so we have the far outside screens, the left and the far right are mirrored, and then we have a central image as well. And that can be either a camera, the computer, document camera, um, split. Um, we also have two confidence monitors in the back for the instructor. So if they happen to be at one of the dry erase boards uh, writing, they can still look behind and see the confidence monitors of the content they're showing. Um, we also have uh, four displays midway back ceiling mounted. Um, those are 75 inch displays for the students that are all the way in the back, just in case the projector is too far away to see. Um, it gives them a little bit of a better viewer angle. So this is our active learning classroom 101. Uh, the round tables are movable and reconfigurable. Um, each table allows for uh, six to eight students per. Uh, there are also nine tables when set round and around the room are nine white dry erase boards with the intent that the students can get up um, and go to each of their own uh, whiteboards as a group for active learning. Um, we do have two projectors, two screens in the room, uh, just for viewing angles. And we're using Crestron's um, control system in here. The central AV rack is running everything um, with NVX being AV over IP. Um, we do have a slim lectern. Uh, this is new from Spectrum. Um, it has either a half rack unit or a full rack, um, but it is slim and easy to maneuver. Um, it allows for a little more space up front while the instructor's standing. Um, but we do also have a no technology lectern um, that's just for a laptop. That way the instructor can move around the room. Um, we're using a wireless um, immersive solstice device. Um, that way an instructor or students can um, transmit their either iPhones, iPads, uh, tablets, laptops uh, wirelessly to the projectors uh, during class. So we're in classroom 220, it's data science and analytics. Um, in this room, um, the class is going to be doing a lot of uh, high-vis data analytics. 
Um, so I'm sort of faking the image now just because uh, we haven't had students in the classroom yet. Um, but what we have is a planar video wall. Uh, it's a four wide by two high um, display. Uh, and we have a high-vis PC running the images. So we actually have an eight output um, computer. Each output is 1080. So uh, we're trying to do a 4K side by side. Um, then we do have the touch overlay um, over the one, so there'll be more interaction um, up front from, these, from the instructor or the students. Um, the layout is a little more casual, um, just because we're not really going to have an instructor just standing up uh, lecturing the entire time. It's more about collaborative work, uh, teams working together and analyzing the data that's being shown uh, on the video wall. Um, the images are all from the PC, but we do give them uh, the option to have a wired laptop input um, along with a, a wireless Merse of Solstice. Um, in that case, we're either doing a split screen or a center image uh, in the middle of just a regular 1080 image. 